let's see. Open the door. Yeah, okay, okay. Now, now I have the puzzle. There we go. Star. Star of your thirst, maybe, again? I smell victory again. You did it, Fran. You can go home now. I'm so excited. Oh, I wish I could leave something for you to remember me. We won't forget you. You are very, a very special creature. Oh, I almost forgot Palantras gave me this for you. A box. It's always nice with a new box. Oh, thank you. Tell Palantras that I wish I could help him with his wounds. I gave him my aid patches to a, I gave the aid, my aid patches to a girl in the hospital, but anyway. I'll tell him and don't worry. Palantras, Palantras is better now. Oh, before you go, you have to know. Before you return to, to your reality, you'll pass through the secret woods. The woods are kind of invisible passages between our realities. And you may encounter a terrible creature that want to eat you. But just run, they're quite slow. And you're telling me this now, huh? That sounds very scary. Don't worry, don't worry, you'll be fine. <laughs> I hope so. Well, Mr. Midnight, go say goodbye. Let's go now. Let me be. Uh... Goodbye, gentlemen. I had a great time. I, I like you very much. Goodbye. And there... We're passing through to the next place. Oh shit! Okay, okay, okay. It, it's just jump whenever you get to the, the, the passages. Jump. That. That troll again. It's pretty. It's really pretty kind of. It's truly a kind of magic wonderland type of game. Yay, the door! Did it! My imaginary friend. <coughs> oh! The duo team is back. My goodness, the door opened now. Wow, interesting. Come on, Mr. Midnight, let's find out where we are. Oh, Fran, I hope we can find home soon. I'm starving. Mr. Midnight, look, I think we're on the other side of the bridge. Do you remember the one we tried to cross before we fell into Ithersa? Yes, I remember. Wait, let's keep going, Kitty. We have to be care careful now. <laughs> Not fire berries. They are not on fire. They're not fire berries. But I'm, I can't even get fire berries when I don't have my duo team. Oi! Oh no! I shouldn't 
would have touched the pills. Bad frown. Bad frown. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> what should I do now, kitty? We're trapped uh, forever and ever. But I do have a knife. Fran, you're already here. Well, I wasn't expecting you until 2.35. And I, as I see, you're not trapped anymore. Interesting. Anyway, let me introduce myself. I am Itwood, your faithful friend. Itwood, do, uh, do I know you from somewhere? You seem familiar. Yes, I am the creature of the night. We have been playing together. I helped you get Miss the Midnight back, you see? Really? Huh? I think I managed managed to uh, quite well to find my kitty on my own. Hey, aren't you the one who made the sisters mad? No, it wasn't me making the sister mad. sisters mad. They only believed it was me. You see? But that was because they never looked into themselves. What do you mean by they never looked into themselves? They blamed me instead of facing the fact that the, their parents never loved them. But let's stop talking about the sisters, shall we? Don't you recognize me, uh, dear Fran, the long man with the top hat? I always came by, uh, by night and told you stories when you were just a little baby. I came to you after you imagined me. But I'm not imaginary, you see. I'm part of your reality. Did I re imagine you? You look quite familiar. Yes, I can't deny it. I exist because you exist. The truth is that you were able to imagine me because I already existed. Anyway, we don't have time to talk about this right now. I'm actually here to take you home. Follow me. Take me home? I can't let you do that. I don't know you. I won't hurt you. I'm not made out of darkness. I'm your friend. Um, all right. You seem nice. I'll go with you, but I don't trust you yet. That's fine. Come now. I have something to show you. And you shouldn't just trust anyone when you just see them in the bushes, either. That's just a fact. That's fine. Come now. I have something to show you. And when you're a skeleton, it doesn't make it any better. Behold the Itwood flying machine, what do you think? I love it. It has many buttons to push. Yes, with this gorgeous piece of machinery, I'll take you home. We'll fly as soon as I arrange the details. Besides, it's not 2.35 yet. That sounds great, but what is, uh, uh, what is it about 2.35, sir? I don't understand. It's when time becomes slower that gives us a chance to enter the ultra-reality. Inside the ultra-reality we can travel wherever we want to go. Right now we're standing at the endless limits of the secondary reality. But you're part of the third reality, do you understand? Yes, I do understand. It sounds insane. But sir, should I just wait until... Uh, You've done fixing the machine? Wait, of course not. You can help by getting water and fire berries, all right? All, all right. And Kitty is licking his ass again. All right, it's better to do something than nothing at all, I guess. Great, here's my amazing handmade bucket for the water. I made it myself. Nice. It's quite cute. I would love a bucket like that. <coughs> and the fire berries. You, you'll you realize which berries to pick up because of the fire. All right, sir, but can I just ask, why do you need the berries and water? Ah, well, the berries are incredibly good fuel. They last many, many hours. And the water is uh, great to rid of the dirt. The Kamalos. To get rid of the dirt. Okay, the Kamalos. Oh, Kamalos, I see. I hope they don't come near me, the, near the flying machine. We never know, but we know that they don't like water, yes? 
Oh, darling, I almost forgot your medicine. You need it. Some things are still invisible to your eyes. You see? Here. Yeah. Gotta take the medicine. Invisible to my eyes? Hmm, I see. Well, thank you. I was trying to catch the pills earlier, but the trap caught me first. Oh, yes, about that. I'm sorry. I needed to get your attention somehow. It's okay, sir. I defeated the trap in, like, one second. Anyway, I got to go get the fireberries and the water. I'll be right back. Great. I'll be preparing the machine. Nice. Now... Um, we have me being eaten. Ew! I look completely deformed. I wonder if it, this friend is really me, but from some other place. Who brought you here? Or is it me visiting you in the other reality? Am I nutritious? I bet I am. Tasty fresh meat. You're the Kamalos, aren't you? Can you talk? Hello? Am I nutritious? Uh, there was something there. Wow, so much hair and so shiny. I feel like I'm in a magical world of hair. Wow, so much hair and so shiny. And uh, still much hair and still shiny. Get out! Get out! You trespass me on my territory! Oh, excuse me, I thought you were dead. How could you possibly think that you have no manners, young lady? I am very sorry. I am very sorry, but you seem to be all rotten and bloody. You. Me rotten and bloody? I think you're misunderstanding the situation. Misunderstanding? Why do you say that, Mr. Moose? Mr. Moose, but I'm no, not a moose. I am a de deadly worm. De 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 deadly worm? De deadly worm? A deadly worm? Excuse me, a deadly worm? No, 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 not a deadly worm. A deadly worm. I don't go around killing creatures. I just return to the soil what creature took from it and it doesn't need any more. But I only see a talking moose. Where are you? Down here, creature. Can you see me? It's a tiny Jack the Ripper worm. That's... Well, it makes really much sense why that did worm. My name is Fran. Oh, there you are. You're so tiny. Hello, my name is Fran. Hello, Fa Fran. Can I ask you, why did you touch the moose in the first place? Normally, one uh, normally only scavengers touch the, the animals. Are you one of them? Of course not. I was trying to see if I could climb on it and reach the fire berries. I see. I think it's possible. The moose is still very sturdy and solid. But the fire berries are on fire. You might hurt yourself. Yes, I see fire, but I have to get them somehow. Good luck with that. Climb on now. I'll keep working. Thank you, sir. Get the, gotta get some more water. Indeed. It, it, it would be a, Oh, I, I could get up there. It, oh. Um... I would love a sacrifice like that. Deadly worm, so will you come visit me when I die? I always come to visit those whom, whom time has left behind. Don't worry. That sounds good. Well, we'll see each other again when I'm very old. I'm about to turn 11 years old soon, but that's not too old. So not yet. I see you when the uh, circumstances are right. Yes. Hardcore. I need some water. Where do I get water? Um. This is very odd. When we fell into a thirst, there wasn't any water. I wonder if 
we really fell, maybe we fell upside down, maybe the magical door into Aether is underwater. I need to get this bucket down there. Are you those shiny insects that get stuck on trees because you're curious? We usually get stuck, yes. How do you know this? You're not one of us. I met your kind. I met some of your kind before. I helped them to get free of their curiosity. Oh, that's very nice of you. Curiosity can lead us to unexpected situations. Are you stuck? Yes, I think curiosity is a good thing, but are you stuck? Not at all, we're just trying to make our hair the longest hair ever. Wow, that sounds amazing. Good luck, I have to go now, bye. Okay. Yes. Um, I can't reach the water from there. Do you think I can at least climb again? It's Lisa, can I climb on the moose again? Go ahead. I could maybe use watering can with this person. I need help, please. Would you let me tie this back to your beautiful hair? Tie a bucket to our hair? Why? That sounds insane. Oh, it's not insane at all. I need water from under the cliff, but I can't reach it. I need to use your long, beautiful hair as a rope. Please help me. All right, we'll help you. Tie the bucket really, really tight. Oh, thank you. You're very nice. Fill up the whole bucket, please. Nice. There we go. Uh, oh, I need to touch. The bucket is now full of water. Oh, thank you. Shiny insects. I have to go now. I have to go home. Home is a place where we all wish to belong, but thus home belongs somewhere. I don't understand. What? I'm sorry, I didn't really understand the question. It was a rhetorical question. I just wanted to say that you are, the, uh, are your own home. Welcome yourself inside. You'll find many doors open to open. Oh, that sounds mysterious and beautiful. I'll try to do that some other time. Bye. Water! And now I can get them fire berries um, get out scavengers it's me sir I can help the moose can I climb the moose again there we go did it just get dark fire is gone I can take the berries no I got the berries. 
I still got the water. Oh, that's nice. Just I didn't need to talk to the tie the bucket to the hair again. It would be sad to tie just rows and rows of buckets to your hair. <laughs> when you try to just get the longest hair. Um, talk to it word. Did you find the fire berries and the water already? We need them for the journey back home. Um, yes. Yes, uh, sir, it would. Here's the bucket full of water. I uh, got help from the shiny insects. You mean the luciferns? They're nice, yes, but only when you see them in this reality. They're very dangerous if you ever see them in the fifth reality. They can burn you. Wow, burn me? Well, I haven't gone into the fifth reality yet. I don't recommend it. What's reason uh, reasonable there may be the worst thing you've ever, you will ever experience. <laughs> oh, I forgot to thank you for the water. Thank you, friend. And the fireberries. Sir, I brought the fireberries, but they're not on fire anymore. Magnificent. These will do just fine. Thank you very much, my darling. Ah, oh, friend, it's 2.34. The journey is about to begin. Let's get inside the machine. Nice. We're going home. It's 2.36. There's a high probability of reaching the target in good condition. We'll soon be on our way to the third reality. Are you excited, Fran? Understand more. Maybe I'll be more excited if I could understand more about the realities. You'll soon understand the answers aren't easily to recognize. Sounds strange. Oh, that sounds strange to me, sir. Time proceeds as it has to in order for you to be alive. If it all happened now, you'll, you'd probably explode. Are you telling me that the answer I'm looking for will come to me when they want? Not exactly what the... You know that what I'd rather say. Through time you must explore and experience to understand. That means the answers will come when you find them. Not when others tell you how or where to find them. Oh, I see. Well, I'm excited now. You've awoken my curio cu curiosity. That's the best thing you can do for yourself. Be curious and you'll always be amazed. But now, Fran, we have to get things done. Ta talking won't to get you home. What things, sir? The machine needs some maintenance and I think you will do incredible work. Here are the fireberries and the water you gathered before. Nice. You'll need them to get the fuel mixed and the water pump walking, working again. You'll find all the information you need when you enter the room to the left. But feel free to enter any room you wish. I'll be quite busy fixing the automatic driver. But if you have something to ask, I'll be here. Never done this before. Hmm, but I've never done anything like this before. That makes it more exciting. Have fun, my darling. All right, I'll go now. Maybe I should push the button on the top to open the door. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, I wonder what this machine does. It's for sure does many things, or nothing at all. Things moves and rotate. That's all I see. I got tape. Duct tape is always good for fixing up stuff, I agree. A hammer, obviously to a hammer side. A wooden foot, it reminds me of when I was a tree. A lost. And blessed, I think it's a lost scroll. I know it's called blessed in Norwegian. I guess it's used as a model for making shoes. It would. Shoes are very pretty. Uh, what were the, where are those? Uh, well, it is a sort of uh, Oxford no, uh, derby shoe, and those are sort of Oxford shoes, but I don't remember the exact name. Oh! 
how to make a soul. Just use the skin of a foot. Well, you use you do actually use skin most often on the underneath of the soul if it's not plastic, but usually not human skin. interested in knowing what it is. Maybe some other time. I think Ipod has style. He likes things that I also like. All these details make me wonder. Uh, uh, keep going. There, there's the... The, the fake Mr. Midnight a pencil. I don't need this pencil, I already have a crayon. That's true. That I would like to use some more. Flowers? This vase has no flowers. Well, I'll just give it them. Uh, hmm, are those for drinking water? They're quite small. Maybe they're for small amounts of water. Maybe they're for very tiny people. That would be cool. Tiny people drinking from those. Mm. The pump is now filled with water. Uh, oh no. gas coming from the pipes. There's no use if there's no gas. Um, this is a fossil. Okay, this is a puzzle that needs... Uh, let me see. Hmm. Oh, I'm not missing. Yeah, for the... Because nine... JM, that's that one. N116, that one. L, 3, 4, P, R, 5. This is hard shit. Wow, it's a huge spinning top. I really like the design, it's very understandable. I agree. It's much better when you can understand what ha what's happening. Oh, hello, friend speaking. But nobody's answering. Anyways, I can't, can always talk to myself. Oh, can I? Yes. It makes me think of Maybe it's done with forks. Never. Forks. Pile of shoes. Many shoes. Maybe they're too tight for the big Itwood. There are many women's shoes too. Maybe Itwood likes them. Of course, why not? They're pretty. Lovely bears, they're hiding, holding hands. Oh, it looks like a mathematical problem. Um, many things to look at. It doesn't have wires, how does it work? Tiny gloves, they look a bit familiar. Are those gloves I've lost through time? Maybe it's 
told those ghosts, that's why I lost them. <laughs> a clock. That's King Zion. I recognize him. Hmm, I see now. Their fence. That's good. It makes me want to trust it. like something is missing. it. I see the black shadows everywhere. Love. Messages. He's screaming all the pain. I can't figure out why this is happening to me. Cry because it hurts. I had a vision of still breathing. Fear. I fear that you are the No, wait, cult of lamb. Is that some sort of Bioshock uh, DLC? <laughs> I was thinking Bioshock too because the main bad guy is called Dan. Eleanor Lamb. <laughs> no, I have not played the cult of lamb before. I think I have to play the cult of lamb now. Sounds interesting. So, or I think I've heard about it. And cult makes it interesting no matter what. Okay, yeah, I need to see it. Uh, I need to play it, not see it. Yeah. I I can get it on Steam, right? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. It would be nice to uh, be able. from the sale. Maybe even uh, Baldur's Gate is on sale right now. I think this is... No, wait, I can look at this thing. Yeah, yes, yes, Fire Paris of Ugame. That's the OFM that was missing. Reality view and audio chemical mixture. Mm -hmm. I did a pick. I haven't played uh, Little Misfortune either, but I do have the game. I'm planning on streaming it in the future. And same with the Gun in November. And I actually don't 
think I've seen so many streams I've gone in November on which actually Oh yeah <clears throat> the pink one is going something missing. I can at least understand picture. Pictures. Forgetting that I'm actually speaking Norwegian. There we go. Now something's happening. achievement.
just put our slate now. Yes! Just pass through the steering. It's weird. I forgot to use the this thing. Oh, Jesus, he's a clown. And I forgot to give myself some luck. Second and seconds and minutes and hours and days. Tick tock, tick tock. I forgot to understand you. Those drinking water, they're quite small. And I, all the base still has anything. And here I got that thing a hose. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. I think that's it. Risky Fondue for actually t kind of um, helping me knowing that taking notes are good. <laughs> supposed to be another host that goes from these two to that one. to fix the automatic driver. Do you need help? I think I managed to quite well too. Did you? Uh, I did all you asked of me. Very well, Fran. Everything seems to be working perfectly. Yes, everything looks absolutely great. What should we do now, sir? Well, I wanted to ask if you, you're afraid of rabbits. There's a little rabbit in one of the rooms and, rooms and I'm... I'm deeply afraid of it. Uh, would like you to help me get rid of it? Would you like me help? Would you like to help me get rid of it? A rabbit? 
I guess it depends on the rabbit, sir. With all the things I've seen, I can't just imagine one kind of rabbit. In Is it a chocolate rabbit or one with horns and killer eyes? You will have to see for it for yourself. It has a pink nose and blue boots. It's just sitting there. No blinking, no movement. It's staring all the time. It does sound very, very scary, sir. But show it to me, otherwise I'll never know. Brave you are, dear. Follow me now. Yeah. Nice. Oh my god, I can see the paintings of the shoe and the stuff there. Mm, but I really want to figure out this thing. Um, tails. What is that? Oh! Yeah! Oh, a little key. I wonder what it's for. Mia and Clara. Finally separate again. Thank goodness for them getting separated. separated. They weren't good for uh, to stay together, at least. Use this on the keyhole. Let's see what happens. Mm. In a world made of darkness and light, Two little sisters try to steal each other's charm, but neither side could decide if what they were was just right. Mia was angry and Clara was sad, and this was because they both were mad. Oh, insane little girls, inside of their minds. It would the creature of the night. He always come, came around in dreams or reality, teaching the girls the splendor of duality. But they couldn't understand. Eastwood was a friend. It would was the link between darkness and light. He was grey. But Clara and Mia one day decided to get rid of Eastwood once and for all. Die, creature of night! Die, they said! But they killed each other instead. Dead and gone, the sisters kept coming, complaining about each other. It's all your fault, Clara. It's all your fault, Mia. Then it would came to visit for the last time, and he said, You are both trapped. In a world of disconnections. But I'll give you a chance. The world has been mean to you. They sued your bodies together to prove that they could. They gave you a mirror to compare yourselves. I'll give you nothing but what you already have. And just one tiny little chance to understand the purpose of love. But the clock is ticking. You have until the day a black cat goes missing. And the world's magic door is unlocked. The end. Ah. 
Ah, I love that story. It's dark, it's grim, it's glorious. Uh, there's nothing else here for me now, I think. There, see, it's just sitting there. Isn't it strange behavior? It's just a toy. From what I see, it's just a toy, sir. It doesn't move. Would you please try to make contact with it? I don't dare touch it. All right, sir. I'll take the rabbit and show you there's nothing to be afraid of. See, it's just a fluffy rabbit. Nothing to be afraid of. Oh, you're right, Ram. There's nothing to be afraid of. What? Don't, don't go, Mr. Midnight. This is not funny. Hmm. Hmm, these the carrots. We don't need no more carrots. Green leaves. Green leaves. Um, a this wood made a paper boat. Paper boat. A pencil. I still don't need a pencil. Hello, are you it was head of the head? I like that. Uh, Emma. Oh, 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 it's right in front of my eyes. Just couldn't see it. Oh, no. Sometimes your eyes is in the way. Yeah. Mommy, Daddy, who did this to you? Um. Yeah. 
Oh no, wait, I shouldn't let the water just be flowing. Mr. Midnight, say something. Please don't take the mickey away from me. Okay. I was just thinking because that was the first thing, second thing, maybe third thing to take and then go into the place. There's nobody in there. Is this to make music with wind? So, yes, maybe. Have a I did it! Yeah! Celebration! in order to divert your attention in another direction. I'm very sorry I had to fool you, my friend. We wanted to surprise you, my dear friend. Come and eat cake. All right, thank you, Kitty. You really surprised me. Thank you, it would star. <clears throat> the cake is made of your, all your favorite written ingredients. Mr. Midnight told me which ones. That could be a really disgusting cake. Like if one of her favorite ingredients are like... Beef. Minced beef. With strawberries, because I see there's strawberries there. <laughs> And we have something very special for you, from all members of the ship. That means all of us naturally born or handmade beings here you go. I hope you find it educational. Uh, wow, I love the wrapping. I Can I open it now, please? Yes, go ahead and open it. Uh, exciting. Wow, a cat doll. Oh, thank you so much. I love it. It's beautiful. It may give your eyes a new perception, you know, like ultra reality. Is that what happens when I take the red pill, sir? Is the ultra reality what I see? Well, it depends. Would you like an explanation? Yes, please. Look, what you've seen is a mixture of dis different realities. An ultra-reality is like an invisible room where everything exists at the same time. For example, all these exact coordinates of time and space were having a birthday party. 
but in the ultra reality, other things are happening all the time. Slower, faster, or just invisible to the human eye. Because of time, humans can define past, present, and future. Defining things encapsulates reality. It gives humans a chance to understand their environment. You have a different perception of, of environment. It's not linked to definitions. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm not sure, sure sir. Ah, that may, may be the ship going up and down, huh? Blow the candles now, dear. We're about to reach our destination. You mean we're about to go home? Did you hear that, kitty? Yes, we are about to arrive. Really? Wow, how exciting. Okay, here I go. Ah. What's happening, Mr. Midnight? Are you alright? I'm alright, but I hope the ship doesn't break. It sounds dangerous. <coughs> Fran, you have to help. I have to drive the machine again. The automatic driver was destroyed by the Kamalos. There are one left alive. You have to get rid of it. Find it fast. How do I find do I that, sir? Water the, that cleans away the dirt. Hurry up now. Remember, it may be hiding. Oh my goodness, Kitty, I'm scared. Me too, Fran. We have to find the Kamala. And we, I really hope the water destroys it. Let's go. If you kind of look at the um, um, perspective of this being sort of an Alice in Wonderland reimagining, then it were is does remind me at least about um, the uh, Mad Hatter, and uh, of course we have the Cheshire Cat that uh, that's always with you. Uh, luck luckily, he's always with me. <laughs> And, um, yeah, the, the, at least those two, the, um, and the, what's it called, the, well, there, there are people that remind me of everyone kind of. No, 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 oh, I can fix what?
carrot, a um, knife, doll, weird box. Weird box can just stay in here. There we go. Got the wire. Now I can pour it on the kimono. Sorry for what I did. I hope you can forgive me. Hello, I really want to talk to me. Are you, are you here to kill me? Ah. Uh, what if, if we really does love black cats? It 
was, uh, we did it, the Kamala is gone. It's gone, yes, but it's too late, dear. I can't take you home. We're going down. No, please, don't tell me this. It's not fair, it's not fair. I will always take care of you, my dear. And the ship kept going down until it crashed. Everything was destroyed. The end. That's a very sad ending, Beatwood. Tell me another story, please. All right, this is the story of Fran Bo and me. When she promised never to forget me or about the magic of everything. <laughs> I promise, Beatwood, I'll never forget you. Good night, now it's time to sleep.